Okay guys, just wanted to go over an LG linear compressor myth. I'm not blame I'm not saying that everybody's doing this, but I know a lot of guys that show up to a job, they're working on an LG and the first thing that they say is, "Oh, it's not cooling. Oh, it needs a compressor." Oftentimes, no one takes the time out to check the board and to make sure that the board is supplying the proper voltage to the compressor. Well, in today's tech talk, I wanted to show you guys about this. So what we're going to be over is, uh, what we're going to be going over is called the uh, PCB check, which is basically we're checking the board to make sure that the board is actually uh, giving the compressor the correct voltage. Due to the fact that these are linear compressors, they are 0 to 240 volts alternating current. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to go ahead and power the unit off, right? That's step one. After we power the unit off, we want to go to con 201 located here on the board. It's a horrible picture, but it's normally right here, con 201. So where it says power and com, that's where we want to put our voltmeter leads and we want to do our measurements. So again, first thing we're going to do, power off. We're going to hook up our leads to CON201. Then we're going to power it on. Now once we power it on, let's see this little note here. If you notice here, they want us to check voltage about 200 volts AC past 30 seconds after turn on. So let's, let's think about this, okay? Again, we're going to power off. Step one, we're going to hook up our leads to CON201. Once our leads are hooked up to CON201, which is short for connector 201, we're going to power on the unit. And then after we power on the unit for 30 seconds, we're going to go ahead and enter test one mode, which is located right here above test mode one. Now, once we do that within 30 seconds, we should have about 200 volts, okay? Now, if yes, we do have the 200 volts, then our board, or printed circuit board, which is what PCB stands for, is okay. But if we don't, then we need to replace the driver PCB, which is basically sure for go ahead and replace the whole board, okay? So I want to go ahead now and show you guys what I did today. And um, I want you guys to see what happened to me. And hopefully you don't make this mistake out there. So again, one more time. There's one, two, three, four steps, really. Okay. Well, five. There's five steps. Step one, power off. Step two, disconnect uh, 201. Like literally remove the Molex from it. Step three, we're going to plug the fridge back in. Step four, we're going to wait about 30 seconds. Then we're going to enter test mode one. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, but to enter into test mode one, we're going to go here on the board and we're going to look for this little black switch here on the, on the left of the uh, board. You see that little uh, switch, that little black button. We're going to go ahead and press that once. And when we press that once, the refrigerator is going to begin to beep. And what will happen is it will enter into test mode one. Now, while it's in test mode one, what we want to do is we want to wait about 30 seconds and make sure that this uh, board can come up to about 200 volts. And again, if it does, the PCB is good. If not, the board is bad. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a call that I ran today so you guys can see how I had a bad board. Okay, so here's the board here, and if you notice, you'll see six blinking LEDs coming from the board, okay? There's connector 201, right there, okay? But you'll notice that you'll see six green blinking LEDs. So we're going to go ahead and check this computer. And remember, step one, we're going to disconnect. Step two, we're going to disconnect the Molex, okay? Now, while I'm disconnecting the Molex, I'm going to go ahead and hook up my leads, remember, to the black and blue, common and power, okay? Calm and power, forgive me. Make sure that you got your voltmeter set up on AC, volts, 
okay? The, the refrigerator right now is equalized. That's why my low side is uh, about 60, okay? Bear with me, this was shot in the customer's home, okay? I'm doing a voiceover in my studio. Okay, so I plugged the unit back in. I'm waiting for the condenser fan to kick on. And look at these dirty condenser coils. Make sure you clean those up. But I'm waiting for my condenser fan. Okay, my condenser fan kicked on. Now I'm going to wait the 30 seconds. And while I'm waiting the 30 seconds, I'm just monitoring my uh, volts AC. Due to the fact that it's linear, these LGs like to start like low and then they start like gaining momentum as you see here it's going from 36 to 39 i got everything hooked up so it's been about 30 seconds so i went ahead and i pressed the test button now watch what happens with my volts here we're going to count about 30 seconds and see if this thing actually achieves the 200 volts that the tech sheet uh stated that it should read okay Okay, so it just shot up to about 102, 103. Okay, so far so good. All right, just monitoring everything, making sure we got everything hooked up good. Okay. Now menu, this is 30 seconds here, okay? Another thing I wanted to point out, that's your capacitor. I went ahead and also checked that. Right there, it tells you the specifications of the farads. I think mine's was 18 microfarads. And I I did check that, and I will show you that, but it did check good. So it's been about 30 seconds now, and this uh, voltmeter has not indicated that the board sent the 200 volts. And that right there is how I know I have a bad board. 